Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at all these. Those are all mosquitoes. Help me. Oh my lord. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Well, the bugs are out. <laughs> it's bug season. Hey Angel, how you doing? I know. She does not like the bugs. We're out this morning. Yeah, and uh, during the winter, when the snow was flying and everything else, you're like, gosh, I just wish it got warm out. And <laughs> now it is, and you're like, yeah, winter's not so bad. Right, Angel? Uh, I thought I would show you some ways I deal with the bugs and uh, some tricks and trips, tips and tricks and tips and things like that. And okay, go lay down now. Go on. Good girl. Start off with the dog. Uh, this time of year, when the black flies are out, I just don't take her. Um, you know, it, it's just not right for her. I mean, they get into her belly, they eat her alive. They, you know, the mosquitoes are really bad. Uh, I have tried things. Um, uh, I've tried nutmeg and cinnamon and rubbed it on her belly. My vet told me that that might work a little bit, but really, it's just it's brutal for. Her. You got him? <laughs> Good girl. And she's a black dog, which goes to the next point. Colors. Uh, black flies, mosquitoes, uh, they're attracted to, to uh, dark colors. Blue jeans, they love, okay? So bring some bright colors. Wear some bright colors. White is fantastic, okay? So bright colors makes a huge difference. The other is actually how they find you is your heat emission. So that's how a mosquito and black fly find you. So the more you get in a frenzy, the more they're actually going to find you. So the more you're like, oh, and then get all anxious about it and stuff like that. Oh my God, Kevin, the bugs around you. Like, can you see that? How come they're all around me? I don't know. Oh, I'm sweating, <laughs> cutting wood. Yikes. So if you're calm, cool, collective, they're not so bad. Uh, you can sort of tolerate them in one sense. <laughs> wow, they're, they're crazy right now. They're on a feeding frenzy. Bye. Yikes. What I generally do, I don't have it here. I have a bandana on me and I'll actually put a uh, bug repellent on that. If it gets really bad, I'll spray bug, bug repellent everywhere. Um, bug repellent, yeah, which ones to use? I use Ben's uh, basically because, well, Ben's, uh, th this is the, the woods one, 30% uh, DEET. DEET works, okay? It really does work. You can use a, a formula that's more plant-based, uh, it doesn't have DEET, it works as well, but you're gonna have to put it on a lot more than actually uh, the DEET formula. And uh, I, I like Ben's because it's water-based, not alcohol-based, so you don't smell like bug dope all day. And I, I just, I've always used it, really like it. They're really bad. We've never had mosquitoes this bad before in our lives. They're motivational insects. They keep going, come on. You give up now, we'll kill you. <laughs> we we'll suck the juice right out of you. If we put all the mosquitoes together that we've ever had on all our trips and put them in the vestibule of our tent, there still it wouldn't be enough as it was this morning. I had a dream about vampires last night. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring a big container if I'm going car camping, but a little guy like this, um, oh, especially these guys, I love these, to put them in, in your pocket during the portage. They're towelettes and they work fantastic as well. Okay, we now got out in the water, and uh, <laughs> wow. And I've experienced really bad bugs before, but that'd have to be one of the worst. You would swallow them and choke on them. How you doing, Ash? Oh, good. <laughs> you gonna survive? Oh, I think I lost about six pints of blood back there. <laughs> yeah, we better catch some fish or see a moose or something. Really good for ticks as well, and ticks are really bad this year. I, I live in uh, Ontario, just a um, couple hours north of Toronto, and they're out in my own backyard, and my dog's getting them. So, so yeah, wa watch out for ticks. That's another one I'll, I'll talk about later on, about how dealing with ticks. So yeah, uh, bug repellents and um, bug, bug uh, shirts or bug screens and stuff like that. If you're going to get one, where did I put it? are wearing the latest black fly I mean, mosquito attire. I'm wearing the new Ben's 
Oh, damn, they're getting on my hands. Oh, uh, the new Ben's uh, bug jacket. Uh, it comes with mitts, but I, ah, I should maybe actually like, this would be a good idea. <laughs> you know, I left them at home. Uh, and, and you have um, the original bug shirt. E elite edition. The elite edition. Oh, well, I have yes. the elite elite edition. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to take this one out. Okay. Uh, this one's really handy. It's just a bug net to put over your head. I don't know where my other one went. But yeah, really handy. Just put it over your your head. If you're going to get one of these, make sure, first of all, it's, <laughs> there you go. Make sure it's uh, no seam netting. I think that's supposed to go like that. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, make sure it's no seam netting. And what that means is it's very fine mesh. And if you get something on sale that's called mosquito netting like this, yeah, it's mosquito netting. So black flies and, and midges. And uh, what do we call them? Oh, no, my, not midges here in Ontario, they're uh, no seams. And uh, yeah, they'll get through that mesh for sure. If this is all you have, um, or if it's no, no seam netting that's actually not black, uh, get a magic marker and put it in, um, right where you would view through it and that will help out. Dalton's had his bug net on since, <laughs> since we left the parking lot, right? <laughs> yes. And he hasn't taken it off. Okay, so I find these things really Helpful when they're really bad, but also confining as well. Uh, you can get full jackets or shirts made for bug um, for bugs as well, and they work really well. But again, more confining. Hello, I'm <laughs> Kyla, and I have my bug jacket on. That's how buggy it was. So I generally try to keep calm through the bug season, deal with it, put bug bug spray on uh, when they get really bad. And when I get to camp, uh, I will probably set the tent up uh, in the, or the camp set up with the bug um, mesh on, but also I will use this. It's from Eureka, Eureka Canada, and it's actually a, a, a no bug zone. I love it. This beautiful thing called the Eureka Bug Shelter is an oasis. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an oasis. It's beautiful. I've used this for years. It's a way to get away from the bugs. It, it creates sanity, okay? And a lot of people will say, actually, you know, not a lot of people say, some people will say uh, that it's way too much weight and bulk. No, you put it in a compression sack, it's fine. The new one actually has the, um, the, the, uh, the fly uh, together with the, the mesh, the old version and what you can disconnect the two. It all depends. I, uh, I generally, it all depends on the trip. I find this is this one, the combination is lighter to, to, to carry, but the the one that separates, um, you can use the fly for later on when the bugs aren't out later on in the season. So yeah, what we got? We got color of clothing. We got bug repellent. We got uh, keeping calm. We got bug uh, bug um, nets. Um, so if you think what a black fly does uh, when it bites you. It actually slices your skin really sharply, you don't feel it. And then it pulls your skin apart with stylets. And then it cuts you again and cuts you again and keeps pulling your skin apart till it gets to the capillary. And then cuts the capillary and then laps blood up. And it takes about three minutes for it to get enough protein for it to lay eggs. And it's the female um, black fly and the female mosquito that actually is only one that is biting you because it needs protein to, uh, to produce eggs. Okay, the male doesn't do it. It, it, it drinks juices from plants. So, um, you imagine if both did? <laughs> oh. I opened the tent this morning and grabbed my shoe to put on, and they were swarmed inside it. So it was like a Trojan horse of mosquitoes. So when I brought my shoe in, all of a sudden, ah, they're in now, they're in the horns. Uh, but yeah, so what's happening though is while it's doing that, it spits in you so your blood doesn't clog late. And the mosquito does the same thing with its proboscis. It actually spits in you so your blood doesn't clog late. So if you're like, ow, like that, you're pushing all that spit right into the wound and it's gonna really irritate the wound. I'm still gonna go like that. I'm not saying not to do that, but just so you know that, uh, yeah, you might wanna just pick it off. <laughs> you. This is a buggy spot in the trip for sure. So uh, there's like quick trips to the outhouse and back. Yeah, so that's what it's doing for you, to, to you, to you. What, what am I missing? I know I'm missing something. 
bug screen. Oh yeah, the um, after bite's really good for the after effect. Put Benadryl in your first aid kit. Uh, if you get a really bad reaction, I, I know at Will and Caribou, they were so bad the one June that my glands just swelled up um, and it was just like, like looked terrible. And I had to uh, start, stop, um, or start popping Benadryl just to calm them down, uh, calm the, the swelling down. Now, when deer flies come out, they're brutal, okay, they're brutal. Ellie's still a bit of upset about the whole day. <laughs> Do you wanna tell everybody why she's upset? Because she got bitten and eaten alive and she puked in the boat. Yeah, deer flies, nasty. I've never seen deer flies so bad in my life. There were so many deer flies on the portages along the Petawa River. Ellie got bitten so bad she started vomiting afterwards and uh, she's still a little bit upset about it. But um, other than that, it was a good day. <laughs> uh, deer flies actually don't find you by heat emission, they actually find you by reflection of light. So when you're going in for a swim and you got no uh, shirt on and your, your shoulders are reflecting uh, light from the, the water, um, yeah, they're finding it for sure. So the one thing I do, um, I use uh, uh, repellents for sure. I hate deer flies, they're the worst to be quite honest. There's few of them, but they just drive me insane, all right? And I'll get a piece of duct tape, which I thought I had here, but I don't, and I'll put it backwards, so the sticky tied up, I put it on top of my hat, go across the portage or around the campsite, and they'll be attracted to that shiny material, land on it, and get stuck and die. So, uh, woo! <laughs> so uh, we have a joke, uh, we wear that across the portage, and we get to the end, whoever has the most amount of dead deer flies on their, um, their, uh, their duct tape, they get extra, extra uh, whiskey for the night. The other thing uh, that uh, I find works, and this is kind of crazy, I actually bought this at the Toronto Outdoor Show for a joke a couple of years ago, and it's <laughs> the Dragonfly Wingman, okay? And I, 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 sorry whoever made those, but I actually thought it was just funny. I'm gonna put this on the slow-mo. <laughs> But I wore this and this really works. <laughs> um, the dragonfly is the predator of the, the deer fly. So having this hang around you like this, uh, the deer flies are buzzing around and it thinks that dragonfly is around, so it, it bugs off. Now, it doesn't work perfectly, honestly, uh, but it actually does work. So, and it looks cool. In I noticed you gave me the pink one. You asked for the pink one. Oh yeah, I did actually. Well, it's orange with pink wings. With pink wings. Well, I think this one works better. You know why? Because the why? female is more uh, predacious towards deer flies than males. Males are just, you know, just looking for a good time. Females are more focused. Wait, oh, there's a deer fly runs. <laughs> All right, what else, what else? Yeah, go in September, October, if the bugs are really that bad for you, if you react. And, uh, or yeah, just kind of be calm about it. And remember how cold the winter was. So I hope I gave enough information there. Am I missing anything here? Um, bug screen, bug nets, bug repellent, collapsible backpack, it's falling apart. All right, well, thanks for coming out and uh, good luck out there. The bugs are out there for sure. That's why I'm doing the video inside. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Okay, let's, let's get out of here. <laughs>